Every country has some sort of censorship protocol surrounding cinema. Horror is usually the genre that suffers from prohibition most often for obvious reasons. As a result, some of the most famous horror movies of all time have been deemed improper, denying certain film fans the chance to revel in their glory. This list includes movies that were told no by at least one country. Some of them are now available there, but only after many years of waiting or a little trip to the editing suite. And make sure you let us know in the comments your favourite previously banned, or perhaps still banned, horror movie. So let's dive in. I'm Adam, this is What Culture, and here are 9 horror movies that got banned from certain countries. Number 9. Thriller, A Cruel Picture, Sweden this Swedish film from 1973 certainly doesn't hide the fact that it gets nasty. It's right there in the title. Thriller A Cruel Picture was directed by Bo Arn Verbenius and stars Christina Lindberg as a young girl named Madeline, who is forced into prostitution by an older man. As you can imagine, things only get worse for Madeline, as she is forced into a world of sleazy clients, drugs and violence. Her pimp, Tony, even cuts out her eye. So far, so grim. Madeline then decides enough is enough and decides to exact revenge on those who have wronged her. This isn't particularly pleasant either, as it leads to a whole bunch of shooting and one guy getting strangled by a horse. At least that's pretty inventive. Despite getting an American release, albeit under a different name and with heavy edits, Thriller A Cruel Picture was initially banned in its own home country. The Swedish censorship board finally relented and released the movie, but only after its runtime was cut down from 107 minutes to 82. Films about sexual abuse have obviously always struggled to clear their censors, even as far back as the mid-1970s. Number 8 Salo, or 128 Days of Sodom, Australia. 1974 Salo, or the 120 Days of Sodom, is set in fascist Italy in the Second World War. A group of rich and deprived men hatch a plan to kidnap local teenagers and force them to commit vile acts of sexual deviance over the course of four months. Salo is meant to be a comment on the corruptive nature of power and wealth, but some countries certainly didn't see it that way. It took until the year 2000 for it to be theatrically released in the UK. And Australia banned it in 1976 on the grounds of indecency. The film is not for everyone, as the graphic depictions of the abuse suffered by the young people is far more gratuitous than modern audiences are used to. Still, there's no denying that this is certainly a thought-provoking piece of cinema. Number 7. World War Z, China Considering what we've seen so far on this list, 2013's horror action movie World War Z, or World War Z to our American audience, seems positively tame. Starring Brad Pitt as the world's sexiest United Nations employee, World War Z imagines what would happen if the planet was overrun by a swarm of fast-moving, intelligent zombies. Spoilers, it doesn't end well. The movie grossed $540 million worldwide, making it the most successful zombie movie of all time by that metric. One place where it took zero money was China, who were not happy with its content. When it comes to nation states messing around with movies, China is one of the most famous offenders. What didn't it like about World War Z? The violence? The gore? Brad Pitt's hair? Well, we're not entirely sure. There was much confusion surrounding why the country censors failed to authorize the movie. One line in the film was reportedly changed as it speculated that the zombie virus could have originated in China. Yes, that is creepy when you consider almost exactly the same thing would happen with COVID-19 nearly a decade later. Does this mean that Brad Pitt knew what was coming and didn't warn anyone? Probably not. Number 6. Land of the Dead, Ukraine 20 years after George A. Romero made his third of the Dead movie, the legendary Madman was back with film number four. Land of the Dead starred Simon Baker, Dennis Hopper, and John Leguizamo, among others, and was set in a world where survivors of a zombie outbreak took shelter in a mini-society in Pittsburgh. You can make your own jokes about how living in Pittsburgh is worse than an apocalypse. Across Europe, the film mostly got given an 18 rating by the various classification boards. The UK actually gave it a 15 to start off with. 
One country was not happy with Romero's work, though, and banned the movie from being screened. Ukraine's culture ministry claimed that depictions of cannibalism in the movie were insensitive. Memories of the Holodomor, a vast famine that resulted in several documented cases of humans eating each other, was still fresh in our society, according to one spokesperson for the ministry. As a result, Land of the Dead never saw the light of day in the country. Ukrainians would have to look to other means in order to get their zombie fix. Number 5. Saw 6, Thailand Honestly, it's a miracle the Saw franchise got six films in without somebody somewhere trying to ban it. The series' whole MO is to present increasingly more grim scenarios and to show people dying in more and more horrible ways. Yet, it wasn't until 2009 that a line was finally drawn. Saw 6 once again takes a bunch of people and puts them into the world's worst reviewed escape room. Only this time, Detective Mark Hoffman is at the controls. The film received high age ratings around the world, including in Spain, where it was labelled Pelicula X. This meant that it could only be shown in selected adult theatres. Thailand went even further and said no to the movie altogether. It almost secured a theatrical release before Thai authorities doubled down on the ban on the grounds that the film posed a danger to public safety. Did they think Saw 6 would encourage people to build their own traps? If so, then why not ban all of the other Saw films too? Censorship is a confusing beast. Number 4. The Exorcist, Tunisia there are many, many stories you could tell about the release of The Exorcist. William Friedkin's possession-based masterpiece opened to American audiences in 1973 and changed horror cinema forever. There were reports of people fleeing theatres or throwing up out of sheer terror, and the movie quickly gained a reputation as one of the scariest motion pictures ever made, a reputation it still carries to this very day. Naturally, with this much controversy surrounding it, it was only a matter of time before The Exorcist got clamped down on. Some areas of Wales banned the film from being shown, and in 1988, all home video copies of The Exorcist were removed from British stores. In Tunisia, it was prohibited right from the get-go under claims that it presented unjustified propaganda in favour of Christianity. This is utterly hilarious when you think about how many Christian groups denounced The Exorcist as the work of the devil. If you think about it, the Tunisian argument makes a lot of sense. The Exorcist does show the existence of demons and that Catholic rituals are effective against them. Number 3. The Texas Chainsaw Massacre, United Kingdom the British Board of Film Classification has a bit of a reputation for coming down hard on edgy films. As this list has already shown, the BBFC has tinkered with several famous horror movies and once barred one of the most important ones ever made from being shown under its watch. Now, to give the BBFC some credit, Toby Hooper's The Texas Chainsaw Massacre was unlike anything anyone had ever seen before. It pushed the boundaries of what was acceptable in 1974 through its frank depictions of violence and human depravity. Texas Chainsaw Massacre is still cited today as one of the most influential horror films ever made, so naturally there was a massive backlash against it when it was released. The UK somehow allowed it to be screened for a year before realising that they weren't comfortable with it anymore. It wouldn't be until 1999 that the BBFC would finally set it free, albeit with a hefty 18 rating attached. Whilst there were many other countries that pulled the plug on the Texas Chainsaw Massacre, the British examples show just how far certain countries have come with regards to horror in a relatively short period of time. Number 2. The Evil Dead, Finland, Singapore, Ukraine Who'd have thought that the man who directed one of the bloodiest, most visceral horror movies of the 1980s would end up helming a trilogy of beloved Spider-Man movies? Sam Raimi's The Evil Dead from 1981 turned many heads towards his work, and not always in a good way. The story of Ash and Friends vs. The Deadites is still regarded as a horror classic, but many at the time took one look at it and went, nope. The highly bloody nature of the movie, as well as its various sex scenes, was too much for the countries of Finland, Singapore, and Ukraine. They banned the movie on those grounds and treated the 2013 reboot in the same way. Even in the countries it was shown, The Evil Dead was tightly controlled. It received an X rating in both the UK and the US, the latter of whom have been surprisingly lax across this entire list. 
Does it matter that the movie is outlawed in certain places? Well, considering that a brand new iteration of the series recently debuted to high praise, the answer is probably no. Number 1. I Spit on Your Grave, Various in 1978, one of the most infamous horror series of all time made its debut. I Spit on Your Grave follows a woman named Jennifer as she takes her bloody revenge on the men who sexually assaulted her. That one sentence alone contains several reasons as to why this film got banned all over the world. Ireland, Norway, Iceland and West Germany outlawed the movie due to its violence and the way it depicted its female lead. Ireland even went as far as to ban the film from being sold on DVD. In Canada, the film was initially banned before it was decided that individual provinces should have the final say. And of course, the BBFC were not happy with this movie's gory ways and refused to grant it a certificate. Some of the scenes in I Spit on Your Grave are pretty nasty, so it's not hard to see why it's been forbidden in so many different places. However, all these bands have done is to add to the movie's legend. As soon as something becomes unobtainable, people want it even more. Even if that something does contain certain parts of the lower body being forcibly removed. And there we have it folks, our list of 10 horror movies that got banned from certain countries. But please do let us know down in the comments of your favourite previously banned or maybe still banned horror movie. And while you're there, make sure you give us a cheeky like and hit subscribe. If you want to follow me on socials, I am at strawn87 on Twitter and on Instagram and now threads. You can come and say hello to me on there. Thank you for watching everyone, I hope you enjoy the rest of your day and until next time, take care.